There are a ton of ways to block ads on Android, but knowing which is the most effective option is tricky. Is it Adaway, AdGuard, NextDNS, Blockata5, or maybe another random ad blocker app that you've never even heard of? Well, let's stop that confusion today and narrow down the best ad blockers on Android to date. I'll explain the pros and cons of each one, and I'll also let you know which might be the best option for you. So drop a thumbs up to show your support to the channel. In the last video, we reached almost 3,000 likes. Let's try to see if we can hit it this time around and maybe even go a bit further and hit 5,000. I know the boys got my back. Let's start with the easiest and quickest way to block ads on your Android. Just hop into the system settings, go into network and internet, then private DNS, and select private DNS provider hostname. From there, just type in dns.adguard.com, hit save, and now almost every ad found within your apps and websites will have vanished. It's a great option because it's easy to set up and has very minimal impact on your battery. The only downside is that the ad blocking gets applied to your whole system and there's no way of whitelisting apps or websites unless you just turn it off entirely. That's unless you use NextDNS which gives you a custom host name from their website to type into that same Android setting. But you can still customize the ad blocking from their website. It's genius because it doesn't require you to download any ad blocking app. Once you sign up with just an email and password, you can choose to add extra security features to help you stop cyber attacks and threats. You can also switch to different block lists such as Energized, Adaway, etc. And even block your own phone's OEM from tracking you if you own a Samsung, Xiaomi, or Huawei phone. If you like to restrict certain apps or websites from being accessed, then that's possible through the parental control section and you can even schedule certain times when the blockage should be lifted for recreation time. They also have an allow list to allow certain domains for apps or websites that you don't want to block. And lastly, you can view all of the analytics to keep track of the number of queries that are being blocked and what type of domains are being accessed. It's got everything you need and again, you don't need to download any app on your phone. I do suggest that you add their webpage to your home screen though as a shortcut just in case you want to make quick adjustments to the ad blocker. It's what I use, especially since it doesn't consume that much battery, but still, it's not as protective as other ad blockers on this list. If you prefer a few more layers of protection and don't mind the extra battery drain, then AdGuard is a great alternative. Not only does it block ads on both your browser and apps, but it's also the only ad blocker that removes the space where the ads used to be. Makes your articles and websites look a lot cleaner. Any other ad blocker will just leave you with that giant blank canvas. On top of that, you can tell AdGuard which apps to ignore, apply DNS filtering with custom server selections, protect your personal information when you enable stealth mode, and even apply HTTPS filtering to obtain a better ad blocking experience within your browser. AdGuard pretty much has it all, but there are a few issues that I have with it. The first thing is that it won't block ads unless you pay for the subscription fee. It's pretty much the only ad blocker on this list that does this, although NextDNS also charges a fee, but it's only until you reach 300,000 DNS queries a month. The second reason why I have an issue with AdGuard is that it consumes a lot more battery than NextDNS because it's constantly running in the background processing my internet traffic. And the third reason why some people may not like AdGuard is for privacy reasons. Since AdGuard processes your entire internet traffic to get rid of those ads and blank spaces, they can also see all of the pages that you visit. You're giving them a lot of trust, but luckily they are a trustworthy company that's used by millions of people, so you shouldn't worry too much. Now, ad blockers are very effective at doing their job, but where they fall a bit short is protecting you against some of your apps. Believe it or not, it's not uncommon for certain apps to actually listen in on your conversation, so that way in the future, they know what relevant ads to show you. It's also not uncommon for them to send your data in the background without you even knowing it. Pretty scary stuff. That's why I use an app called Anti-Stalker, the sponsor of this video, to help improve my phone's security. For starters, Anti-Stalker can detect any microphone or camera usage, and surprisingly, it even works better than my phone's software. With an Anti-Stalker under Monitoring Console, I can see which apps use my microphone and camera, and for how long. Plus, it'll even let me know which apps have sent my data in the background and how much data was sent. It'll honestly scare you. Luckily, Anti-Stalker lets you block those pesky apps from sending data within the data monitoring section by creating a local VPN. With the flip of a switch, you can restrict certain apps from sending data when they're not in use or just block them entirely. It works like a charm. 
Any apps that I don't need to monitor, I can simply whitelist them within the monitoring console. But the protection doesn't just stop there. Anti-Stalker has a few tricks up its sleeve. Things like anti-theft alarm that starts playing a loud alarm whenever someone tries to grab your phone or remove it from the charger when you're not near it. It's perfect for public places like airport charging stations. It also has a permission manager to let you see which apps have been granted access to the internet, the microphone, etc. A root checker to see if your phone is rooted an option to mute your microphone straight from the notification section so that no one listens in on you, and a lot more. Overall, it's one of the best privacy-driven apps out there with the developers constantly improving it and adding in new features. It's free to download and will seriously improve your phone's security, so make sure to use my link in the description if you want to help support the channel. Now this next set of ad blocker apps are extremely similar and work with the same level of accuracy. Sure, there may be a few that have some extra minor features and prettier looking interfaces, but functionality-wise, it's all the same. We have Rethink DNS, Block Cata 5, DNS 6.6, and Next DNS, but we already talked about that one earlier. All of these look at your incoming DNS queries when you're using the internet and block the queries that come from ad networks. Simple. My personal favorite is Rethink DNS because it's completely free with no subscriptions or in-app purchases, and although it doesn't remove those blank spaces like AdGuard does, it still does a great job at blocking ads within my apps and browser. On top of that, it comes with a firewall that lets me block any apps from accessing the internet. I can do that on a per app basis or just block all apps when the device is locked or when they're not being used. Pretty gnarly. Of course, that would interfere with incoming notifications, so I wouldn't enable those. But if you don't mind, go for it. It really comes in handy for restricting internet access to file managers, alarm clocks, calculators, or any other app that doesn't need the internet to run. Finally, you wouldn't think this is important, but Rethink DNS has a very active community with a Telegram channel so that you can ask for help if you run into any issues. Plus, it gets updated relatively well around every one to two months, so not bad. Blockheader 5 is a great alternative. It has a prettier looking interface with the extra option of letting you choose from a variety of different block lists so that you're not just stuck with one. It has all the popular ones like Energized, OISD, Attaway, etc. And they also give you a wide selection of DNS hosts to join, unlike Rethink DNS. Other than that, it's exactly like all the other ad blockers that just use DNS filtering. However, I do enjoy that they also have an active community with a Telegram channel. Plus, the developers are very active, making sure that Blockada gets updated at least once a month. DNS 6.6 is the last alternative I recommend for an ad blocker that just uses DNS filtering, but I would honestly not choose it over the previous recommendations. One, because it hasn't been updated in almost a year, and the UI is also very outdated. And two, it doesn't have a community or an easy way to contact the developer if you run into any issues. Nonetheless, it still works like a charm and it's free to use, but there are still better and more powerful options out there. Last but not least, we can't forget about Adaway, the OG ad blocker that every person who has ever rooted their phone has heard of at least once in their life. Yes, it's still alive and still requires root to fully take advantage of its features, but they also have the option of now using it without root. It'll just work like the other ad blockers by using a VPN and constantly running in the background, consuming a good amount of your battery life. If you do have root, however, it'll instead edit your system host files so that no filtering is required and the app doesn't need to constantly run in the background. It'll also block the ads a lot faster if you do have root. So if you're rooted, then just use Adaway. In the end, there are a ton of fantastic ad blocker apps out there, but a lot of them vary in terms of features and functionality. Personally, I enjoy using Next DNS because it doesn't require me to download any app, just a Chrome shortcut if I like to, you know, modify the settings. I just need to change a setting within my phone and that's it. Plus, it doesn't require root and doesn't consume that much battery life unlike the other apps that I just showed off besides Adaway. If you'd prefer the extra protection though, with the addition of cleaning up those blank ad spaces, I would go with AdGuard even though you'll end up paying for their features. If you want something completely free and that still works well and don't mind that it will consume a bit more battery life, go with Blockada 5 or Rethink DNS. And finally, if you do have root, just go with Attaway. Anyways, that's the best ad blocker apps on Android. If I helped you discover at least one app, please drop a thumbs up. It really helps with the channel and hopefully we can hit that 5,000 like mark. I know we can do it. If you really enjoyed what you saw, I encourage you to get subscribed with the notification bell turned on because I like to make these videos every week. 
New subscribers really help encourage me to keep going because it shows me that there's still a large Android audience out there. Either way, thank you for watching and sticking to the end. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!